is coming. The harvest is past. The summer is ended. And we are not saved. What a cry. What sorrow. What regret. Coming from the people of Israel at the time of Jeremiah. This time we're in now is harvesting time. When souls are being gathered into the kingdom of God, yet we need to understand, harvesting time will not continue forever. The time that remains before the age is short, very short. The opportunity will soon end. Then the lost, the doomed, the damned sinners, will cry and cry forever what will be their cry the harvest is past the summer is ended and we are not saved the question is why were they not saved number one personal decision they couldn't take personal decision to be saved. There wasn't any lack of good preachers, although the bad preachers were there. There wasn't any lack of knowing the mind of God that he wanted them to be saved. And yet, many were not saved. That's why they cried, the harvest is past. The summer is ended and we are not saved. Number two, there is the problem of the preacher's deception. Many of the people who are not saved today, they're not listening to us alone. They're listening to some deceivers over the radio, over the television, over the internet. I don't think hell exists. I happen to believe in life after death. All those things bring deception to them. And because of their preacher's deception, that they are listening to out there, that's why they are not saved. Number three, because of people's dominion. The people around them, not saved, not giving themselves to the Lord, putting pressure on them. They are pressure, societal pressure. The pressure of sinners and other people on them. That's why they are crying the harvest is past. The summer is ended. And we are not saved. Tell them, don't just take for granted. Come into the house of God. Go back the same way you came. Check your life. Is anything in your heart, in your life, which is displeasing to God? Let sinners know they are evil. They are sinful. They are transgressors, and the way of transgressors will be hard. Let's be clear. There's need for repentance. There is need for coming out of sin and coming to the Lord. God make us faithful preachers that call people to repentance in Jesus' name. Sinners will repent through your preaching. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering towards words, not willing that any should perish. People will not perish under your ministry, people will not perish under your teaching and under your preaching. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. All you need to bring people to repentance, the Lord will give unto you. As you faithfully serve the Lord, He will faithfully empower you, Jesus' name. Let's rise up now and talk to the Lord in prayer, so that 
our hearers will not say on the last day the harvest is past the summer is ended and they are not saved